Well, hi folks, I'm just going to try and explain about my bats, how I make them, how they work and things, because I get so many questions saying, what are these little red discs that you use? Well, basically they're called a bat, and if you look, they've got a hole in there and a hole in the centre. And on my wheel head, there are two corresponding pins, a little pin in the middle, and a little pin on the outside. And basically all you do is, you can put water down for added suction, but you just place the pins over the holes, and that's your bat. So it means that when you throw your pot, instead of having to cut it off the wheel head and perhaps deform the pot when you take it off, you can just lift the whole pot off, like so. So where do I get them from? People say, people have been asking me that forever. Basically, what we made ours from was this stuff. It's called high pressure laminate. I don't know what it's made of, but it's the sort of thing that they use to to um, to line shower cubicles and toilets out and things like that because it's very hard, totally waterproof, and they, I think they use it to do like kitchen worktops as well. But it's called high pressure laminate. As you can see, it's about three millimeters thick. It's very rigid. It's just got a little bit of bend to it. It's really smooth, totally waterproof. So like I said, we got some offcuts of this and some bigger sheets. And all you need to do is just cut a circle out, and then to the, whatever size you like. And if you've not got any pins in your wheel, there's usually some counter sunk little holes that you can actually screw pins into. So then screw two pins into your wheel, cut the holes out in your circle to the same dimensions as the pins, and off you go. And like I said, you can make them any size, any size you like, that's for a, a bigger pot, same principle. That just goes on the wheel like that, throw your pot, lift it off, and you can make them as big as you like. There's some huge ones there for making plates. The only thing that's limiting you is the width of your wheel, right? the width of your, your splash tray. So that's about as big as we can do, but you can throw a huge plate on that. It's all different colours, but it's the same sort of material, slightly flexible, but completely waterproof. I think it's some kind of resin based material, but it's called the stuff we use anyway, it's called um, high pressure laminate. You can use plexiglass, I think they call it in America, or um, perspex like we call it in here in England. Same thing, it might be a little bit thicker and a little bit more brittle, but plexiglass or uh, perspex you can use. But this stuff is really, really good. It's high pressure laminate. If you go to some kitchen manufacturer or something, or people who do things like that, they might have some offcuts lying about. And if you cannot get hold of it, just like I said, cut the holes out, cut the sorry, cut the circles out on a bandsaw, and then drill your holes in, and then you can just make as many as you like, and that's it really. Like I said, we use I've got hundreds of them, so if I'm making a batch of 50 or something, I can just lift them one off, one after the other, and it's a lot easier than cutting it off and then deforming the pot. So that's just a quick little explanation of my bats. I hope that solves people's problems as to what they are, what they're made of and how you do it. So that's it folks, how my bats work and uh, what they're made of.